Hello, welcome back to Cognitive RPA session. I am Madan. I am the founder and the CEO of Emergent Tech. In this session, I am going to talk about uh, Cognitive RPA use cases and specifically that would be Incident Management IT Help Desk Automation. It would be interesting to know that RPA is yesterday game. Cognitive RPA is emerging and lot of enterprise has started using and they are using it to solve their most complex problem. People ask me what is Cognitive RPA? How can I apply into my workspace? I thought of why not I should be taking the opportunity to create the different use cases. So in today's series, in today's seminar, uh, today's session, I'm going to share with you the incident management IT help desk automation. But before I deep dive into cognitive RPA use cases, I'll just briefly touch upon what is cognitive RPA. And in that case, let's understand what is the limitation of RPA. RPA only works on unstructured data. Unstructured data, it could be voice, it could be any uh, text, it could be any legal document, it could be anything. And interesting to know, 80% of the data into the entire enterprise is unstructured and 20% of data is structured. So if really integrate RPA with cognitive, that opens up a very large horizon. Second limitation, the complex processes. If you really talk about fraud detection, you talk about complex account payable, you talk about account receivable, you talk about the banking processes, those are very, very, very complex processes. And RPA just only touch upon a tipping point. It doesn't solve the entire, entire problem statement. So whenever we have the complex problem, RPA fails. And last but not the least, the judgment. So essentially mean that RPA only works on the rule-based judgment rule-based decision but when it comes to the human decision applying the cognitive ability of the human it fails and that's that's the that's the place where cognitive rpa brings a lot of uh, value so what is cognitive rpa it's it's pretty much clear from my uh, presentation that when we club when we marry rpa plus ai and then analytics it becomes cognitive rpa so actually rpa mimics the human hands but cognitive rpa mimics the human brain that's that's the that's the overall uh, you know uh, the crux of the entire conversation so just to summarize cognitive rpa it's a integration of rpa ai and analytics together and interestingly it solves the most complex problem into the enterprise Let's move ahead on the actual use case. As I said, this use case is all about incident management help desk automation. And this is being used with NLP and RPA together. NLP is one of the component of uh, AI. So separately, I'll talk about NLP, how it works. But in this use case, uh, it's very interesting to know that we have worked with one of the leading telecom company and they have challenged in timely handling and resolution of large volume of incident received from the devices, from emails, monitoring, from reactive, proactive channels. So, hundred thousands of tickets are landing each day and there are pool of people who are actually uh, receiving the tickets, handling the tickets and then it's day, day in, day out repetitive activity for them. Yes, in the first phase of entire conversation, it was RPA. Uh, but the major challenge, it was recognizing the service request and assigning the ticket to the right person. The lack of intelligence to resolve the faster resolution. I'll talk about lack of intelligence. That's where the cognitive RPA comes into picture. Mundane and repetitive activity. Productivity issue. People were not able to focus on the human, but rather they were all the day in, day out. They were busy in assigning, creating, classifying and etc. assigning to different teams and the complexity when it comes of course the life is pathetic incident management control and management I mean this is altogether a different activity last and not the least missing the SLA timing this is a big 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 pain point for any control and management function and the high resolution time today the business demands for speed 
टुडे बिजनेस डिमांड्स फॉर एक्यूरेसी टुडे बिजनेस डिमांड फॉर द गवर्नेंस एंड द वेरी इफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन प्लेस एंड दैट्स व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस टेलीकॉम कंपनी एंड दे दे वांटेड टू रिजॉल्व इंटीग्रेटिंग आरपीए एंड एआई टुगेदर सो लेट्स मूव अहेड आई विल जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ आईडिया अबाउट हाउ देयर प्रोसेसेस लुक्स लाइक uh before it has been approached uh, using the rpa uh so the first activity that happens the incident monitoring so it could be proactive monitoring proactive essentially that uh, there are a lot of devices that is, is installed across the different geography and it keeps sending the uh, the incidents and incidents is being created into our incident management system it could be remedy it could be service now it could be any home grown tools also and once incidents are being monitored this will get created into the ticket creation tools sometimes automatically it's get created sometimes uh, the people who are sitting on it help desk they need to create the tickets the third step is incident classification this is very very important and that's where the entire uh, the intelligence piece comes into picture so classification essentially mean that what is the classification category of the ticket so it could be hardware related it could be software related it could be network related it could be firewall related so once classification happens then only the ticket is being assigned to the right team and once classification is done then prioritization happen very very interesting piece prioritization what is the severity what is the criticality so entire prioritization severity and criticality it's all being derived from the standard operating procedure depends on the nature of the ticket depends on uh, uh, what is the actually the demand of the ticket so this impacts a lot classification and prioritization demands a lot and that's where the entire intelligent piece cognitive rpa comes into picture and once incident classification and prioritization is done then ticket will be assigned to the respective team and the respective team members so assignment is also very uh, complex process depends on who is available which team is working that's where uh, this, the entire assignment will uh, take place so in this case incident monitoring partially can be done using rpa ticket creation uh, will be 100% done using the rpa an incident assignment partially can be done using uh, the rpa uh, rpa uh, tool but now let's figure it out what can be done i mean when we deploy the solution using the cognitive rpa as i said nlp and rpa comes into picture so incident classification uh, i mean reading the entire uh, the email body or reading the entire incident body and figuring it out what is the category that's where uh, your cognitive rpa and especially the nlp piece comes into picture so uh, we can deploy the nlp in order to classify the any sort of problem when it comes to incidents prioritization figuring it out the the severity and figuring it out the priority of the ticket that can be done using the nlp nlp as a whole has lot of complex a uh, lot of features and the steps in order to achieve the outcome uh, here we are not talking about we'll talk sometime later but yes there is a concept called sentiment analysis and uh, emotion analysis we can apply sentiment analysis and emotional emotion analysis to figure it out what is the priority and severity of the ticket and once this is being done incident can be assigned and uh, here uh, in fact uh, uh, the nlp piece can be integrated with rpa in order to really uh, inject the intelligent piece into the incident uh, assignment process all right so once we have deployed this solution eventually it took close to 18 months to automate the entire process so approximately the business has actually observed and got the benefit of 50% Uh, reduction in the overall service desk ticket it's a big big benefit for them average handling time reduced by almost half response sla improved by 80% 80% is a big number a human error it has improved the productivity a lot 99.99% in in 
in continuous monitoring and continuous improvement process 99.99 percent that business has achieved and it has improved a lot of customer experience when i talk about customer experience it's not only about the external customer experience but rather internal internal employee customer experience also internal employee experience also this helps their productivity that help them to boost their morale so this is what all the business benefit the business achieved by deploying rpa and uh, NLP, the cognitive RPA piece together. And of course, the resources started focusing on the value-based activity instead of doing the repetitive uh, manual tasks. So let's let's uh, let's recap uh, the to be process. Earlier, uh, incident monitoring, ticket creation was handled uh, using RPA. Later on, uh, incident classification, in incident prioritization and incident assignment. Uh, were uh, were uh, handled using uh, cognitive RP and then that's what called intelligent automation in order to achieve the higher uh, outcome and output. Alright, so thanks a lot for watching my video and hope to see you again.